everyone. I'm here to review another set of pencils. It's been a while since I've reviewed pencils, but I had actually, I purchased these before the pandemic. So that was a long time ago. I am just now filming uh, the review of them in 2022. So that tells you a little bit about how my last two years have been um, a little crazy. So um, this brand is the Casimir drawing pencils. It's labeled K-2. 2014. I don't know if that's a name number. I have no idea. And there is uh, writing on it in another language, a language that I don't speak. So I don't, I can't even tell you what language it is. I think these are made in China. Um, and I had seen these quite often on Amazon. The set of um, 14 different pencils is oftentimes only $10 which is really inexpensive for drawing pencils. And so I know so many of you all are on a budget. I wanted to check these out because I thought they might be a good alternative for you if you are on a tight budget um, and can't afford a lot of art supplies. Like I know many of us are in that position at times during our lives. So um, I wanted to check these out and I wanna show you actually my typical review of them. I did a value scale um, and drew a pair, and so I'm gonna show you that. So remember, if you want to see other reviews of pencils, um, you can continue along on my YouTube channel here, or if you're interested in more how to draw uh, videos, tutorials, there are really some full length tutorials that are an hour or longer on my website, lzmstudio.com. Also, if you're interested in having an art teacher for your school, but you can't afford one, or maybe you want an after-school club for your um, students who are interested in drawing, I've got another website, graphitesquad.com, and that has all of this content geared toward ages 8 to 12. It really can go all the way through ages 18, and it teaches you all the basics of drawing for a much less... Um, a lesser, I don't know how to say that, a lesser cost than having an art teacher or a private lesson. Um, so let's take a look down at the page and I'm gonna show you how these pencils turned out. So the box is just a regular um, cardboard box. It's kind of interesting when you pull them out because what you're going to see is that there really is a difference between the finer pencils, so the ones that are an H, um, versus the ones that are a higher number B. So you can see the the highest number B, I think, that comes in this package is a 12. And so with the 12, look at how wide that is compared to, let's see, the 4H, I think the 6H is the hardest. So look at the width of that lead in comparison. And they did that because the softer a lead is, the more likely it's going to break. So making it a thicker lead compared to a thinner lead of the harder pencil gives you some, not guarantee, but some insurance that it might not break. Um, and so that was really interesting because I think I have never seen quite that large of a change in diameter of the pencil lead um, in any other set. So let's take a look at how they, um, I've also got one missing over here, the 2H. Let's take a look at how the value scale looks on the page here. So one thing that I thought was really interesting is that the 4H felt harder and looks lighter than the 6H. Um, and then the 6B, I thought, looked a little bit lighter than, um, I don't know which one it, I think it looks lighter than the 5B, which is a little bit odd. And you know, maybe you're noticing it more in just the writing than in the shading. In the shading, that looks okay. That looks like there's a step up. Um, but really, I just didn't feel like there was much of a change between the 4B. The 12B definitely looks a little bit darker, but I would say the 4B and the 8B, there's just not much of a variation there. And then the other thing that I um, really noticed with these pencils is that they're just, I, I don't know how to explain it because they don't feel, I guess they feel hard, like a hard pencil where, you know, your H pencils, they are adding clay as an additive to the graphite. And I would say even the 12B 
it just feels hard. Like it feels kind of scratchy. Um, a 12B is like much softer than most pencil um, ranges include. And so you would think that like, I wouldn't have to press hard at all in order to get a really nice dark black. But because this pencil is just formulated in a way that's a little bit harder, it just feels like I still have to press quite hard. So I drew the pair in um, with the 4B. That's typically what I tend to do it with. And it just felt um, like, I don't, again, I'm sort of at a loss for words, but it just feels harder. It didn't feel waxy, but it just like, it almost felt like I was like, uh, like it felt more like an apple pencil like the plastic tip of an apple pencil where it just sort of feels like it's hard and you're scuffing the page that's how it felt I thought it was a little bit harder to blend um, so I would say this if you are on a budget and you need a range of pencils maybe it's worth that ten dollars for you to try this out but if you can stretch your budget just a little bit to twenty dollars I think it's going to be a uh, better value for you to stretch that budget a little bit and get pencils that really show a difference in the variation and the gradations um, if you can afford it. So if you can't afford it, then what I recommend is go to your local art supply store and just buy two or three or maybe four pencils individually so that you can get a nice range and gradation change so that you have the wide range without having to buy an entire set. I am going to link these below um, to Amazon. So if you are interested in buying them, you can purchase them. Um, and I'm curious to see what your experience is. So leave some comments below. It would be nice to hear what you all think.